The International Service for the Acquisition of Agri-Biotech Applications is a non-profit international organization that shares agricultural biotechnology, focusing on genetic engineering. Structure ISAAA operates three regional centers, ISAAA Seasire Center, ISAAA Afra Center and ISAAA Americenter. ISAAA Seasire Center is hosted by the International Rice Research Institute in Los Banos, Laguna, Philippines. This center also serves as the Global Coordination Office as well as the home of the Global Knowledge Center on Crop Biotechnology. ISAAA AfroCenter is hosted by the International Livestock Research Institute located in Nairobi, Kenya. ISAAA AmeriCenter is located in Cornell University, Ithaca, New York. It serves as the administrative and financial headquarters of the organization. Topic: <laughs> Global Knowledge Center on Crop Biotechnology. The Global Knowledge Center on Crop Biotechnology is the information network of ISAAA. It published a weekly e-newsletter called Crop Biotech Update that summarizes global news on agricultural biotechnology. CBU also comes with a bi-weekly biofuels supplement that features new developments in energy crops production, processing, policy, and economics. Topic: <laughs> Donor Organizations. The ISAAA receives funding from both public and private donors. Some of the ISAAA's funding agencies and companies include the USDA, U.S. Grains Council, Monsanto, Bayer, Two Banks, Fondazione Bussolera in Italy and Iberkaha in Spain, USAID and the Agricultural Biotechnology Support Project II. Topic: Annual report on the global status of commercialized biotech GM crops. The organization releases an annual publication on the global status of commercially approved genetically engineered crops. The publication is authored by Clive James, the founder and chair emeritus of ISAAA. The annual brief provides research on global trends in the adoption of major biotech crops since they were first planted commercially. Various environmental groups have accused the ISAAA of inflating the size and impact of genetically modified crops in their report. James says that the report is based on a multiple public and private sources and that he considers it conservative. The 2015 report says that 18 million farmers planted 179.7 million hectares of biotech crops in 28 countries, a marginal decrease of 1% 1 1.8 million hectares from 2014. As per International Service for the Acquisition of Agri-Biotech Applications S latest global status of commercialized biotech – GM crops in 2017 report, India has the world's fifth largest cultivated area under genetically modified GM crops. The country with the highest area under transgenic crops, at 75 mh, is the United States. topic GM approval database ISAAA documents approved GM crops worldwide and presents them in a database available in the organization's website Each biotech event is featured with a brief description about the crop trait transformation method developer and summary of regulatory approval 
Entries in the database were sourced from biotechnology clearing houses, regulatory institutions of approving countries. <laughs>